Okay, hi everybody. This is my first video. I'm trying. I'm just using my computer, the iSight, the iMovie, and iMovie, and I don't have a camera. First, um, I was going to go through some of my things. I'm just beginning, and I'm not an artist, I'm not a crafter, and I wanted to go through to see what limited supplies you can have and start. I um, first started vi um, looking at visual journaling really as the end product. First I was um, looking up moleskin journals, moleskina. I've got more here. This one I haven't opened. It's unlined, my first unlined, plain notebook that I want to start. But I, my first plan was I wanted to cover it. I didn't want it to be plain black. I have another one lined. And I wanted to do something with the cover. So I was searching. This is, is this empty. Oh, this also shows you, I am, this is another subject about starting a journal and how a blank page is intimidating. For some reason, I find it less intimidating to start at the back. So I started looking online for covers, how to do looking for covers, and somehow I came into Zentangles, and then I really liked the idea, and I found um, many videos and things on Zen Doodles, which I kind of look at that as Zen Doodles as the generic form of Zen Tangles, which is a registered name for a company. And I was kind of put off by it being a registered name because I feel like designs in art have been around forever. They go bit way back. And they basically are um, registering their technique, um, which is fine because that's not the kind of technique I like. I think uh, artists are more free-spirited. I have always been more contained, and so I find it more comforting to use a shape, a pre-designed shape that we all know, like a circle, and a blank or an old CD or DVD is, makes a perfect circle to trace or a square, or, you know, you, I was thinking of using butterflies, triangles, whatever. You can do a silhouette of and zentangle in that, and do borders, or zen doodle. So, I, I got all obsessed with collecting, diff, collecting and practicing different designs. Because I'm not an artist, I don't come from an artist background, I don't come from a scrapbooking uh, background. These aren't natural for me. A lot of people can just fill in a blank with a design and uh, it be natural. I did do one. I see now how you get off subject. I wanted to try one where it was just simple lines. Oh, let's see if I can find it. No, no specific pattern. Oh, this, yeah, was this it? I guess this is more than straight lines. I thought I did one with straight lines. I'm looking for it. This might be it. Pretty simple patterns, though. You can see, especially the big ones. Straight lines, some curves, circles. Nothing... Um, yeah, okay, some curves, some lines. I'm looking at that squares. Pretty much straight lines. That's triangle lines, straight lines. In the middle is, ooh, not used to this, circles. So that was easy. So you pull it back. And even though it's very, very simple designs, it looks pretty cool. I had 
had fun with that one, trying to see how simple I could make it. But I wanted to make a collection of designs, and so I started a blog, but I haven't done anything on it. I wanted to at least get the names in doodles. And I've been busy online collecting patterns. In the middle of July, I'm going on vacation for a week to a, a bed and breakfast where there's, well, it's a big hotel, bed and breakfast kind of thing, on the coast, right off the ocean. Um, no TVs, obviously, your cell phone only, no internet connection. I figured that would be a perfect time. I've got them all collected on my computer to start drawing them, practicing, and collecting them. And then I'll have to upload them and organize them somehow. That is a huge. But as I was looking online, somehow I got into, then I found altered books, then I found art journaling, visual journaling, and I've just been watching everybody's blog, um, YouTube videos, and reading blogs and reading books. And I got an art journaling magazine and I ordered the next one, the summer one, for my vacation. I'm so excited. But I do not have painting supplies. And I already spent $100, which is what I want to show you, because it's so tempting when, when they have discounts to try to go for the discount. Dick Blick, you buy a um, hundred dollars and you got, t I think it was 20% off. I thought I was going to get free shipping, but after your 20% off, it has to be still above a hundred dollars to get the free shipping. I'm looking for my, I guess I'll just show what I bought. I bought a whole bunch of this, of course, this is mostly supplies for um, Zen Doodling. I bought Pit Artist Pins. This is in the Sanguine. And it comes in four different sizes. B is brush. Whoops. Oh, this is hard. Medium, fine, and super fine. The lines. And it shows you on the front the different size lines. And then I got the sepia. I have to show you the um, the sanguine. The sanguine on the t on my computer looked a lot redder than what it is. I wanted a dark red, and it turns out to be more of a brown, a dark brown, funny color. But that's okay. And. I've got to pause because, how do I pause? I forgot my other pins are all over on the couch. Maybe I'll just go walk over there. Now I lost my, I'm just going to go get my other pins. I suppose I should watch the time. I don't know why 10 minutes is the limit. I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube yet. Maybe I'm gonna have to do this again because I've wasted too much time. Okay. 